So as mentioned, this is a points-based selection program and the main criteria are you have, to be, you have to be above 18 years old, you have to work at least one year in a continuous paid full-time work with in the last 10 years in a skilled occupation that is recognized and is, and is in demand. The main applicant must score at least six in all four components for the IELTS test and also you need to at least have a high school diploma. So also, applicants and dependents need to pass the medical clearance and police clearance and also have the settlement funds. So as long as you meet the minimum of 67 and in a profession that is in demand, you will be qualified for the program. So at the end of the application, you will receive a Canada, Canada Permanent Residency status. So this is the ideal status for everyone, be it whether you're looking for a job, education, or just looking to retire. We have received many inquiries for our work visa application and we know how difficult it is to attain one. So many clients are caught in between whether either they can't find a job or they can't get the visa at all. So having a permanent residency status gives you the flexibility for applying for jobs as you're seen as a local over there. So on the screen itself, this is what you will receive after a successful application. Permanent residents do enjoy heavily subsidized fees as a student. So let's take a look at this table. So this shows you the amount of fees you have to pay for an international student. So if you're there on a work visa or if you're there on a student visa, right? So if you're a permanent resident today, you will be only paying 10 to 20% of these fees. As for tertiary or further studies, you will be given, you will be giving yourself and your dependent children access to these top universities in, in the world. So in 2020, QS World University ranking rated three Canada University in the top 50. You know, University of Toronto in 25th, McGill University in 31st, and also University of British Columbia in the 45th place. So not just education benefit that you'll be, be and you'll be able to enjoy. There is also healthcare, healthcare benefits, freedom to live and work in Canada, sponsorship rights for family visa and eligibility to apply for Canada passport upon fulfilling required residence period. So while barrier of entry is very high in for most countries, Canada has been extremely welcoming during this period as they have a target of getting a million migrants into Canada by 2023. So, wide range of profession in demand. So, for profession in demand, there is a wide range of application that you are able to align yourself to. We have qualified clients who ranges from a welder to a graphic designer or a, or, or a COO of our MNCs. So, as long as your profession is in the list and you have a relevant qualification, you will be qualified for the program. Age limit for applicants. Well, most countries do have a very strict age limit uh, when it comes to skilled migration. So, but for Canada, there is still an equal opportunity as long as you're qualified via the first test uh, for the program. All right, requirements for IELTS. Uh, points given for IELTS uh, during this skilled migration is actually quite lenient. Uh, for most countries, when you're going through the migration program, usually the max points or the suggested range are in the 8s and the 9s for each component. But for Canada, it's actually a quite an attainable range of 7 and 8s. So they are quite lenient with regards to the points for, for IELTS. So lastly, a handful of our clients are quite concerned over migration application during this pandemic. So here's an extract of, from Bloomberg um, stating that Canada sees their migration efforts as one of the crit critical ways to recover from an economic instability in the future. always think that they do they have to move immediately upon getting the PR however this is not true you need to stay in Canada for two years that's right but you're free to do within do this anytime within the five years period so this allows you enough time to plan for your big move all right this concludes the five reasons that I have to share with you today I'm going to answer some of the questions that we received during this session all right so number one is IELTS exam compulsory? 
yes, actually, if you are moving to an English speaking country, for example, like Australia, Canada, or New Zealand, they, you do need the IELTS exam itself. To, yeah, you do need the IELTS exam. So for number two, um, who can I include in my application? So your spouse and your child dependent under the age of 22 can be included in your application. As for your parents, you will need to uh, establish yourself in Canada under with a PR status before you are able to apply for their sponsorship. And lastly, how much is the settlement funds? So it varies from each application. So depending on the number of um, dependent in your application, um, there will be different amount that's needed. So you can check with our uh, with our consultant that might be in touch with you later to go through what are the fees exactly needed for this settlement funds. We look forward to hearing from you and have a great weekend. Thank you.